Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. I'm John. This is many a true dad. Welcome back to Fallout 4 Point Lookout because, uh, my goodness, this is uh, this is an amazingly put together mod. So much good stuff and attention to detail here. So, uh, okay, we're diving a bit deeper into this because there's stuff I still want to say. In particular, that ruin over there, yes, indeed. The old mansion because uh, inside there, there's a Desmond. Desmond has got perhaps the single most distinctive voice acting in the entire Fallout franchise. And they've had to redo all the voice acting. So, I mean, okay, we want to hear that. Though, on the way, a couple of tiny things I forgot to check. The biogas canisters. Yes, these are grenades in the original game. They create like a, um, a cloud of gas you can then explode with any gun, which is going to be much easier to do when grenades are hotkeyed differently to a weapon. So you can toss it and then fire straight afterwards. All right, up to the mansion. Let's test out some grenades and a British ghoul's accent. You know, tribal. Get in here and help me fight these bastards off. God damn it. Yes, you. I see you out there. Stop dicking around and help me, or else these cocksuckers will be coming after you next. Time to shit or get off the pot, Joker. Get inside and help, or get off my damn lawn. I mean, I'm gonna be honest, that's not a bad Desmond impression right there. Though, uh, yes, just, uh, in case you don't know, and I'm curious whether they're going to have, uh, done something to recreate this, tribals in Point Lookout are a nightmare. Because they just straight up cheat. Many enemies in Point Lookout just get to ignore your armor. Back in Fallout 3, I mean. And on top of that, many enemies like the Tribals had what we would call today a magic legendary effect on their weapons. Giving them bonus 30% damage if they were shooting anyone stupid enough to be the player. So, yeah. There's a good chance that um, the Tribals might have been in some way programmed to be a nightmare. All right, here we go. Tribals go down. Oh, hang on. Nope, still a couple more tribals. Uh, how tough are you guys? Level 22. But, uh, yeah, not too bad, all things considered. We do have dogs helping me out. Stop stabbing me, if you'd be so kind. I'm a big stealthy person. Once in the head. Okay, one good headshot will take care of you. Absolutely lovely. Let's start uh, building up our handful of crits and hope the dogs... The dogs are... Oh, blimey. Okay, so to confirm, still pretty tough right there. Then again, that guy was armed with a shotgun, and uh, I am just floating around in Chinese stealth armor, which isn't very good as armor. They've been at it all night. I think they're just about to breach the inner walls. Follow me. I gotta go check it out. No, seriously, that is not a bad Desmond impression, like, at all. This was the one accent I thought they might struggle with, but oh, blimey. Okay, hang on. Grenade! Go! We're just going to see how that does. I'm not sure it did anything. It might have just been for show. I mean, it's supposed to create explosion. Okay, it creates an explosion. It does what it's supposed to. Create a nice gas grenade. Okay, they're definitely prioritizing shooting me, which is a problem because they really cocking hurt. Okay, just take you out, buddy. I think she might still be alive too. There's a woman next to me fine. No, the dogs took care of her. Good, 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 good. All right, prepare for trouble, including potentially, yes, dropping in from above at some point or another. Oh, yeah, there you go. Right, don't mind me. Oh, never mind. There's, there's more of them. Yeah, there's more of them. Never mind. Just, just, please just accept being shot in the head. Lovely. Thank you. Build up some crits. Building them nice and fast at this point. No, stop. Stop shooting me. Stop. Stop shooting me. Oh, they're, they're quite tough, actually. No, 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 no. Ow, that. There's so many of them. Okay, this this could actually be a, a problem. Actually, this this could be this could be quite a problem. Actually, there's 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 lots of them. They have they have guns and. Okay, this this here this is what crits are. crits are definitely for this. So you could just die. Actually, then we just hide behind the door. I need to take action, boy or action girl. Okay, this is this is nasty. This is a little bit on the the nasty side. They're definitely tough. But then again, bear in mind, John, 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 John. I am wearing functionally no armor. So, yeah, this is kind of my bad. Oh, I hadn't noticed this before, actually, that might have shown up last week. Hunting rifle taking point three two. So that is indeed, yeah, 
That is a Fallout 3 star hunting rifle. Back when they were terrible. Right, stay down, stay hidden. Problem with this area is, yeah, there are some ambushes, but... Some enemies. We might be able to get the drop on. All we need to do really is just... Here we go, I see you. Just... Not 100% sure how that happened. There we go. She just goes here. Gets popped once in the back of the head. Okay, so the stealth armor is terrible as armor, but it's good as stealth. You know, it being stealth armor and all that. And... Alright, I see you over on that side, buddy. Okay, so now we're just going to do some stealth shotgunning. That's more like it. Oh, yeah. The stealth shotgunner. And oh, blimey. Oh, do we have a... Oh, oh my. I'm not sure whether intentionally or not, but they may have reintroduced some of the older Fallout 3 corpse bugs. I mean, I'd love to think that was intentional. Because, yes, this used to happen in Fallout 3 all the time, where the giblets just didn't actually explode, creating awful monstrosities. I've never seen it in Fallout 4 before today. So, have they actually gone back and reintroduced old bugs? Because if so, bravo, good choice. Where are you? Let's, uh, let's get this all. Then we just come over here. Let them walk past. Ah, oh, you see. Somewhere in the back of my mind, uh, I remember how all this works. Because sneaking around invisible light, this is how we did it way back in the day. No, you don't, buddy. No, you don't, buddy. No, you don't, buddy. I'm gonna go check All right, though, admittedly, I've, I've kind of fluffed it a tiny bit there. This is fine. Just stay hidden. They're all over there, which is good, because I'm pretty sure. Okay, let's see if something has been recreated. Because these guys despawn... If what you do is uh, you blow up the thing that's over here. Alright, that seems to have done the job. Uh, you see, that caused them to despawn back in the day. The moment that exploded, uh, all enemies despawned. And I'm deeply worried uh, that hasn't happened on this occasion. Hey, over here. Yeah, 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 but they're, they're here too. I mean, good luck with them. I'm just going to let Desma take care of that, to be honest. He's taking care of it now. That's fine. He's going to be unkillable. That's not a problem. I'm going to help that guy out by just shooting him in the face. All right, there's, there's going to be there's gonna be more problems. This, is, this isn't really how this is supposed to go. But then again, he's got a combat shotgun, and I've got a double barrel. So he's got the advantage, to be honest, right there. Well done. Send the dogs in. It's going to be great. This is, this is marvelous right here. Oh, I love her. Okay, onwards and nextwards, we're going to the next because, uh, yes, indeed, this is where things get interesting. Point Lookout is full of uh, little bits and pieces, fun little things that were hacked together, such as, for example, collapsing floors. So, yes, if we just keep on keeping on around over here, here we go. And something didn't go right there, hang about. All right, walking down this empty hallway and... Okay, it's possible that in the end, the Fallout 4 engine just couldn't do falling through the floor. They just have to load you down below, waking up down there. That's a bit of a shame. Or I've just run into an unexpected bug. It's hard to say. But alright, I'm down in the basement because I just fell through the floor. Alright, we all definitely saw it. Right, down in the basement, and in just a moment, we're going to get some axe people popping in. Oh, admittedly, you guys are right here. I've got a grenade. I'm just going to pop a grenade there and see what happens. Literally nothing. Good, 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 good. So, let's just get a bit nearer. Let these guys get in. These guys are seriously... There we go, and... Spotted me straight away, but that's all absolutely fine. Two shots to the head, I'll take care of you. You're going to have friends, by the way. Definitely friends, so okay, just... No! Okay, just wait, wait, wait. Completely didn't hit anybody. Level 46, that means you get critted, buddy. And it still didn't work. Another one should do the job. Not if I... Cocky, right, just, just back off a little bit. Back off a little bit. Don't mind me. One shot will hopefully... They can... Just take that. You can't take the other, though. Right, getting a little bit on the... Never mind. Level 46 with an axe. Axe is good. Axe is nice, though. Just give me the XP. Everything's good. Got any more friends? No more. Okay. Yes, scaling, of course, can't be recreated in Fallout 3 versus uh, Fallout 4. Because in Fallout 3, one of the tricks of this place was uh, if you came here at a low enough level, then a weaker variant would spawn. And those. 
it's a good idea to do that because, yes, they are much, much easier to deal with than the higher level variant. But on this occasion, yeah, they're just sort of, you know, the tough ones are matching your level, etc, etc, etc. Okay, John, you can do this. Somewhere in the back of your brain, you remember the enemy placements in this area. I know you do. I mean, I don't, but like, I might do. You never know. Hide here. Probably you're about to run straight past, you stupid losers. Good. Good, good, good. Now, I didn't remember that, but it's possible that my brain did. So, okay, just to wait for now. The problem is, this stealth arm is not so good at being stealthy. All right, just take you out. One and a two. And I've leveled up. Marvellous. Now, luckily, the last person's got a knife. So, no, no, stop. Okay, even with a knife, level 22, not so bad. So, just pop you in the face as well. I need to get better with rifles. If I do, then I can one-shot these guys in the head. And, unfortunately, no, I can't make my rifleman any better. But I could take an extra rank of bloody mass. Oh, why would I take 5% bonus damage when I could take 25%? Okay, now, now we should be good at, at this nonsense. And I believe uh, some enemies are about to run through, right? Yeah, there's a trigger. If I hit it, then ahead to the left or something. Brain, remember this. Somewhere in the back of your brain, remember how all this fits to... There it was. That was, that was it, that was it, that was it. Okay, good. That, that's fine. Then we just shut the door on you. This is how you do this. All right. I think with stealth boys last time I was here, but kind of works with uh, the stealth armor. No reason to kill literally everybody. No, don't mind me. Don't mind. Just wait for her to, to walk past me. There we go. Pop in the back of the head. Good. Now she could die. Now somebody is a bit aware of me. Close that door. Just get over to here. Maybe hide in the pantry. Everything's... Someone's coming this way. There's nothing here. Boom! It got away with it. Conking stealth shotgun build. I love it. And then just keep on keeping it up. One more boiler needs to be destroyed. So, all right. I'll see you, buddy. No trouble. No trouble at all. Just... No. No, no, no. Though if you want to step out, that's fine. Okay, you know what? You're the one with the... I see you. You're going to die instantly. You're going to die instantly. One, two, did not die instantly because I lost the sneak attack. No. Uh-oh. Okay, just reload for a second. Let my AP come back. Seriously, recharge can be slow sometimes. One more of that. Oh, you're the, you're the tough one. Sorry, didn't realize you were the level 46. You could definitely just die in that case. Reload. Probably got enough AP for another shot right now. Excuse me. Bye-bye. Right, there you go. That was a good explosion. Definitely some more people around. Oh, I think the people downstairs are now interested in coming to investigate, potentially. They might be showing up in a second. So maybe we just want to grab five more stim packs. Okay, after some initial concerns, uh, that's been going. There we go. They've got bored and wanted off. Love it. That is going to be, yeah, that's back to the main area. Then we have just got over here. It was a grenade in here, wasn't it? Just pop a grenade in here, then hide around the corner. It's going to be fine. Then I exploded. Okay, should have been further away. Oh, yeah, this hole. This hole's much easier to just pop the uh, grenade in. Then we can back away much more easily. Yes, that's that's definitely better. So, there we go. We've blown up two boilers, uh, preventing them from getting in. Desmond could take care of the rest. I'll just hide to the back. No trouble at all. Though, I tell you what, let's just mine up the room nice and fast to go and join Desmond. Uh, lovely. Now, okay. Admittedly, if we're in a sniper position, probably... Yeah, biogas canister. We're going to use that thing. It's going to be great. So, I'm just going to stay nice and hidden. So, all right, they're going to be popping in. I've laid a mine next to each door just for fun. And second floor on the right. Oh, sorry, that's like the one door I didn't bother putting mines in front of. My mistake. Right, just let him come to me. And Desmond, you got any interest in being involved in this process? There's a sneak attack for me. Lovely. The rest of this might not go so smooth. Actually, that's level 22. 
And you're only 30, so... Okay, mild, mild, mild issue. Little bit, little bit, little bit, level 30. Okay, backwater rifle. Honestly, not very good. Can't even kill with a crit, dear oh flipping dear. Right, maybe just go back over to uh, to shotgunner. Yes, and then we've just got ourselves one. Reload, ooh, fancy reload animation, though slightly invisible and wibbly. You know what? Just double-barreled shotgunner is the answer to everything. It's just, oh, that was level 46. Don't charge level 46ers. Bad decision. Critical, didn't need to critical then. He got shot by Desmond. So, okay, Desmond's doing a good job helping me out here. It's all under control, just about. Okay, here's the big one. Front door coming in. So, what we're going to do, as soon as it opens, boom. Put the grenade down there. All right, and as soon as it goes in. Fire explosion. I tell you what, those biogas. Oh, possibly guaranteed spawn of uh, legendary, just to keep things uh, interesting. Level 46 is around too. Okay, you know what? You have got, uh, yeah, some auto guns. Uh, I see no reason why I wouldn't want to just hide right here. And let good old Invincible Desmond uh, do a good chunk of the work. I can get a good uh, shot right here. This isn't going to do much, but it's going to do uh, something. Now, where's the legendary? Because we want him to... Oh, wow. Double level 46 and a legendary somewhere. Just keep on keeping on. Vats is very much lying about how much damage this is going to do. Oh, have you got a, um, yes, special magic mini gun? Because I suspect you do, you know. No, 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 no. Right, well, Desmond's got to be somewhere. Okay, this guy's now coming for me. Just rush him. Rushing him was possibly a bit of a mistake. At this range, no, it wasn't. It was fine. Lovely. Maybe do a little stim pack just, uh, just for safety. So I feel like someone's, someone's got a, yes, special magic minigun of some description. And I don't know what legendary effects on it. Could be completely bloody random. Don't really know. Level 70. Lovely. Right, okay. You need popping in the head, buddy. Are you on your own now? Let's make this happen. And surprise, mother flipper. Just get over to his head and crit. Boom. Down you go. All right, and... No, he had a wounding sniper rifle. The minigun was just in general. So, okay, that's that's nice too. I guess I'll be taking some of that. That's a Fallout 3-style sniper rifle. Right there, because, yeah, of course, in Fallout 4, it's just a slightly adjusted version of uh, the hunting rifle. This is actually a unique sniper rifle that's its own thing. So, my hero, huh? I think you came in and rescued me right in the nick of time. Not hardly. Had it all well in hand, and I didn't even need to use the failsafe. But that would have done a real number in some of the paintings. So, just as well you were here. Anyway, name's Desmond. No, seriously, that is some exceptional voice acting right there. Tobar, you can kind of tell. Everyone else is... Basically flawless, you wouldn't even know they'd redone this. Oh, and better and better, they have added in the superior defender perk. So, okay, it's been retroactively added into Fallout 4 too. Okay, I am just more and more impressed. Not only have they added superior defender in, they've created a little perk asset for it. A proper animated one that looks really, really bloody good. So, there we go. While standing still, plus 5 damage with ballistic weapons, plus 10 to armor rating. Now, if that means just DR, in Fallout 4 that's not great, but never say no to plus 5 damage. And speaking of lovely animations, uh, another one right there. So walking with spirits, head up to the cathedral. So we can do that pretty easy because, yeah, that's right by the crash truck. We went there last week. Although I'm going to be honest, before I do, I'm rather enjoying the, uh, yes, biogas canisters that obviously work a lot better when you can throw them and fire immediately afterwards. Like, grenades were always so fiddly in Fallout 3 because you had to, like, change them, throw it, then change back to your normal gun. And for biogas in particular, where you were throwing it to cast the gas, then you had to change back to the gun to ignite the gas. It was just such a faff, no one ever did it. But they're way more usable now, so... Okay, over to the trash heap. We'll just head straight south from that. Oh, not at night, though. No. Instead, I'm nipping back to Haley's because, all right, avoid the trap wrench. I want to check out, yeah, this sniper rifle, which is its own unique thing. So, all right, 
Alright, alright, alright. Wounding sniper rifle. This can go over to... Yeah, it's got an uh, armor-piercing or a calibrated. In terms of uh, sights, iron sights, glow sights, all the rest of it. No... No, hang on. One recon scope right at the bottom if you want. And suppressor, obviously, an option. I mean, it's just nice to see this thing back, to be honest. It was always a bit of a shame in Fallout 4 how... Yeah, there just was no sniper rifle. Instead, it was just a variant of... Haley's just going around, kicking around those signs. It's wonderful. Oh, speaking of hunting rifle, could this thing be, like, maybe less terrible if you really, really aggressively... Ah! Okay, so it can go over to 3.8 or 50. So it might just share the mod list from Fallout 4's hunting rifle. I will tell you what, though. The backwater rifle. Take that up to its max level. That's not terrible, and... Uh, all right. 115 right now. All right, you know what? Sure, why not? All right, following morning back in the swamp, everything looks nice and calm. So let's go get ourselves a big pile of bio grenades. This is uh, super easy. Just go to uh, the holes, uh, dodge around the swamp. Just uh, two more to get as we got one last week. Then after that, a one. Watch for you guys. Oh dear, there's a, there's a handful of you. Stay invisible. Oh. Stay invisible didn't didn't work out. Okay, you know what, buddy? You've got a baseball bat. I've got a shotgun. So how about we just take advantage of this one moment too? Why is it always just one hit point short of taking out the enemy? All right, I'm seeing a few more ghouls. But yes, as we pointed out last time, thank goodness we're dealing with, uh, yeah, Fallout 4 Reavers and not Fallout 3 Reavers. Otherwise, instant death. So, there we go. One shot. Killing a Reaver. That doesn't happen in Fallout 3, damn it. And as for you, you're a Swamp Ghoul, meaning you're just held together by Prince Dick and Happy Wishes. Alright, no more problems. And there we go. Biogas canisters right there. Absolutely love it. Alright, and final one is way over here, but to be honest, I'll be needing to go in this direction at some point anyway, because, uh, yeah, somewhere around here is the entrance to the hallucination sequence, so uh, may as well head over there now. You know, just in terms of the general aesthetics of the world, uh, I think Point Lookout is one of the nicest areas Bethesda ever developed. Just these creepy trees, the feeling of being, yeah, lost in a swamp. It was always really, really nice, and honestly, this one captures the feeling so, so well. Oh, though now I think about it, I've completely forgotten about this. Yes, right by where the last sight is, there is a cave with a uh, mysterious giant red ball in it. I'm going to die here because there's about to be a giant rat bear. But if we're lucky, maybe... He won't see me. Alright, and... Yeah, that's right. Hi. No trouble, buddy. No trouble. Why am I even here? I don't know why I'm even here. Aside from... Oh, a baseball cap! Well, saints be praised. Buddy, 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 buddy. I'm gonna be honest, job. Oh, you're level 36. Okay, you know what? Lovely crit right there. I'm really sorry because you were a lovely carnival bear and you probably wanted no trouble. But honestly, I wouldn't mind. I was curious whether there might be something unique on her. But no. Instead, just some meat, some skin. What you'd broadly expect when you blow up a bear, to be honest. And I'm guessing there's more. Yep, more reavers. More reavers pretending they're actual reavers and not fake reavers. So a one and a two. Anytime you're ready, he's still coming this way. There you go, thank you. Oh, blimey. Okay, he was kind of kind of up in my face there. Oh, you're level 52. Oh, well, you know what? You can just wait until we're nice and close by. Crit! He might have been a bit more dangerous, to be honest. That might have been a proper dangerous one. Then again, I just killed him in one shot. Normal Reavers, you can't kill him in one shot. You can't get nuke those guys, and they just keep coming. Reavers never, ever died. Here we go, some biogas canisters, Mysterious Skellington, who I assume is the woman who's been leaving us the notes, and access to the big old boats. Though before we head over to, yes, the lovely Expedition Boaty Muck thing, we do have, yes, one of my favourite little uh, random encounters, just danced about in Point Lookout, the Crashed Plane. I love this thing, it's just 
a lovely tiny micro story in the Fallout universe. Because one, I just love seeing snippets of old broken down pre-war technology and uh, apparently this is just, uh, yes, what a plane looked like in the Fallout universe. Came down in the swamp, you can identify who the pilot is based on the rags on the skeleton. And then you've got around them a whole bunch of people dressed much more casually with axes. This guy was swarmed by the locals as he was trying to, uh, yes, make contact with base, fix the plane, something, something, something. And we know from various other terminals around Point Lookout, yeah, the locals had gone a bit uh, off the deep end even before the war. But what I particularly love is, uh, yes, the black box recording. Aircom, we have multiple flashpoints on horizon. Come back. Air Command, USN 350, requesting landing vector. Have zero ceiling visibility and low on state. Somebody give me a landing clearance. State 1 plus 1, zero to splash. Have zero read on outer marker. This is USN 350. I'm blind out here. Attempting emergency landing over water. INS pinger active on distress band. Flaps up, descent to eight cherubs, three green over. Five cherubs, tree line up, throttle easy on four lights, prepping to pull the loud handle. I just love that one tape because it's just so understated. They've done a good job recreating it because it's kind of like that in the original as well. Where you just kind of get the creeping horror of realizing this was a pilot in the air as the apocalypse happened. And all of a sudden, there's no air traffic control. Everybody's dead. And you don't know whether he really realized that when he went down. It's just a creepy, tiny, micro horror story I always loved in this game. Here we go, nearby to the lighthouse. One nice boat, just uh, chilling out right here, the Ozymandias. So uh, using the three tapes we collected, uh, we can now get inside to wrap up an antique land. And flipping twist, it was all an evil conspiracy. Because the lovely biogas that made this place so nice for mining turns out to be tied to, yes, a very large amount of uh, mass human graves in the area. And she was going to blow the whistle, which is why her skeleton was downstairs in the final hole. And that gets me access to, aside from more stim packs, the game is just tossing these at me, biogas canisters, lovely. Okay, back to the main objective, starting from the crash truck. Okay, I'm literally in sight of uh, the door of the cathedral, because, as I say, geographically, Point Lookout is uh, very, very small indeed, so uh, no need to worry about any of uh, this. I'd like to come in, and uh, I will gladly do some form of a spirit quest, if that's what you'd like me to do by any chance. Ark, venture west to the Great Bog, and within you shall find the mother of all Punga. She stands taller than a man, and her vines guide our future. Collect her seeds and kneel before her wisdom. Only then will you be ready to enter these sacred halls. Because fortunate coincidence, I literally pass by the sacred bog entrance on my way up to the, uh, yes, third and final sinkhole. So, alright, here we go into the sacred bog. Yeah, it's very much an area of, uh, two halves uh, that you have to do twice. Step one, you just have to make your way to the uh, Mother Punga, making your way past a big old pile of Myalurks. Fortunately, yeah, they're Myalurks, so not too difficult to take care of. Literally shot that one in the back and no trouble at all. I feel like something sneaky up on me. Yeah, Myalurks redesigned, of course, to be in the uh, Fallout 3 style are fairly low level. They're not supposed to be... Okay, you, you could have just not messed that up. Dear, oh, flippin' dear. Might be a handful of tougher ones dotted about too. See a swamp lurk up there. Honestly, good opportunity for me to uh, top up my crits. Though, yeah, it's the um, journey back that's the interesting one. Another really good recreation of a very, very creepy area, by the way. The little kind of, you know, spinning dolls definitely not helping with the... Uh, the creepiness levels and uh, all right we've got a couple of swamp lurks dotted about here trying my new and improved uh, thing and oh okay you're definitely aware of me aren't you yes yes you are i've decided i'm going to go over to uh yes my lovely lovely hardened uh, double barreled shotgun if you want to walk up to me that's that's all absolutely fine just a tiny bit close ow too close that was that was too close just try that and 
Okay, try crit if he... There we go. Crit shotgun right in the face. That'll take care of you, buddy. No trouble at all. Lovely. Okay, watch out for the swamp lurks. They are tough. I've also seen, yeah, don't about Maya lurk hunters. But not the lobsters like in 4, of course. They didn't exist in 3. But, uh, yeah, just tougher Maya lurks than you might be expecting are definitely dotted about somewhere. Oh, I'm seeing swamp lurks, though. All right, just one grenade over to you. Just create explosion. Boom! Right, that's all of you on. The fire does not do much. I mean, it does knock them over, which is nice. But then they know where I am, and then, okay, let's just see if we can knock over, like, say, one of them. Boom! Didn't get either of them, actually, and also now I need to reload. Okay, maybe start using some crits, actually. So you can just die to a crit, and then you, buddy, you're only level 24. You're probably fine, actually. Let's just choose, you know, nice manual fire, because yes, you can actually use guns not in vats in this game. It's a thing I often forget, but it's true. Oh, but here she is, uh, the Mother Punga. Oh, I've been waiting for this because uh, the hallucination sequence of this game is uh, kind of wild. All sorts of uh, voice acting, special effects, weird stuff happening. How are they going to have done all of this? Gather the seeds and get a little bit of gassed at the same time. Lovely. Bit of plasma effect there to represent the gassing. And in just a moment, things are about to get weird. And here we go. Back up, but I suspect in uh, a rather different location than uh, where I left, as it turns out. Can I get guns out? I can, though. I think you're perfectly safe here. I'm not sure there's uh, any enemies uh, whatsoever. Now, I swear that voice is a little bit different. Hello there, Mr. Intelligence Bobblehead. And uh, it's a Schmaltek Bobblehead. So, uh, walked right into another trap. Exactly how stupid are you? Honestly, I enjoy traps when they come with hallucinations. It's fine. Oh, here we go. We've got some good soaring noises. Oh, there it is. Oh, well done. I was wondering whether the hallucinated saw might get dropped out just because that'd be too hard to do. But no, you pulled it off, you mad bastards. Well done. Then we have got, yes, nuka colas that are going to explode. But they don't hurt, so it's all absolutely fine. All right, everything's, everything's okay. No problem whatsoever. A couple of... No, there's not enemies here. They're fake enemies. It's all fine. I could have sworn there were no enemies here. No trouble whatsoever. Everything's under control. Oh, here we go. Here comes the giant terrifying needle and thread. They've done an excellent job recreating, yes, the uh, hallucinations right here. Because, of course, in case you don't get the uh, pretty obvious symbolism, somebody's doing a bit of surgery on your brain right now while you're unconscious. Oh, now, hang the flip on here. Hang the flip on. This is, well, I suppose this had to be changed because this isn't just Fallout 4, but Point Lookout. It's Point Lookout in Fallout 4. So in the original, this is the point where, yes, you find your own mother's skeleton dead on the birthing table. But here, it's not. It's my dead husband. So, all right, Charisma Bobblehead, what have you got to say? If my spouse looked like that, I'd abandon them too. Of course, yes, the original saying, if uh, my child looked like that, I'd abandon them too. So, okay, this has been, um, modified, so it's a bit more of an accurate hallucination. Oh, and there's Preston Garvey! Oh, this is, this is marvellously good news. Yes, of course, here you're supposed to find a, a giant pile of, uh, corpses that are relevant to you. But now the corpses are, yes, somebody else instead. Various other bits and pieces, so there's Father. He's going to fizzle away right now. Admittedly, I think this character hasn't actually run into Father or Sean yet, so... Okay, sure. There's Preston Garvey. Oh, the one thing we've always wanted. A dead Preston Garvey. In fact, okay, hang on. Hang on, hang on. He's got... He's got floaty physics on him. Okay, the handmade rifle. That's doing its job right here. Preston Garvey's coming with me! Me and Preston Garvey's corpse. Elder Maxon has not arrived in my universe either, and you can just get out of the way, Desdemona. Dear, oh, flippin' dear, you're getting in the way of the Preston Garvey boats. 
Just get a bit of momentum on Preston. There we go. Oh, he's picking up some speed now. He's proper moving at pace. Oh, I love it. And then we have got ourselves... Oh, yeah, the giant bomb from Megaton. Though I've never actually encountered this giant bomb. And no, no, Preston. Preston, you're going the wrong way now. You're going the wrong way. Let's just grab the... Uh... Oh, the final warner here... Dead spouse, life in post-nuclear wastelander, not a friend in it. Yeah, you aren't exactly blessed. Once again, yes, my uh, dead mother replaced by dead spouse. And uh, yeah, Kellogg just standing next to a giant nuke. He had nothing to do with nukes, but I suppose the nukes should be there because it's got to explode because that's how we wake up, damn it. Well, on the plus side, at least we took Preston Garvey for a lovely, lovely boat ride. And here we go. I have now woken up. Spectacular. Oh, hello. You guys have respawned. Was expecting you to, to, to be back, actually. So you guys could just, 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 just. If you all just wouldn't mind dying for a second. You see, that was a bit of a harsh ambush letting those guys respawn. Because uh, don't forget, um, as per the rules of Fallout 3, I'm currently, well, actually, I'm not just naked. I'm also bald. Because he had to take my, uh, yes, Chinese stealth armor off. In order to get at my head. So we'll be putting that straight back on. I'm now... That's an interesting one. So now, now I don't have a head. Oh, that's... That's good. That's good right there. I can actually see the inside of the suit through my own neck hole. And now that I have passed the test and do not possess a head, I am, of course, welcome in the tribe. Oh, I like the new look cathedral, by the way. It feels, uh, yeah, a lot more crowded and cluttered than it did in Fallout 3, which is uh, a perfectly reasonable little uh, addition there. Very, very nice indeed, in fact, yes. So, all right, how about we call it apart there and wrap things up next week? Because, uh, yes, at this point, honestly, we're pretty close to the end of the, uh, the main story, which will leave us plenty of time to go and visit Plix Safari and, uh, perhaps most important of all... Uh, Yes, indeed. One mission that I do not know how precisely they're going to sort out because uh, one of the submissions in Point Lookout has a solution that can't be achieved in Point Lookout. It can only be achieved back in the Fallout 3 Wasteland, which we can't go to because this is Fallout 4. So, I mean, there are some clever ways they could get around that, some very similar locations. So, join me for the conclusion next week as we wrap up this incredibly well put together mod. Hopefully, you join me for that. But in the meantime, I've been John. This has been many a true nerd. And this has been Fallout 4 with Point Lookouts. Thank you very much, and goodbye. Ah, we have got a gate key here, and then we have got ourselves- I've made a mistake, I've made a mistake, I've made a mistake, I've made a mistake! This is gonna take all of my skill and cunning as a hunter to sort out- DIE YOU MOVING BASTARDS! DIE! DIE! Go, go away. Go away, nobody likes you. That was a good idea till it wasn't.